Hey guys, it's Russell back and on today's video I'm going to do a shootout between the MTM foam cannon versus the Lemon Best foam cannon. Um, I didn't even know that this foam cannon existed. There are lots of them that are out there that copy the MTM. Um, this was an idea given to me by one of my viewers and said, hey, why don't you try the Lemon Best foam cannon? And I was looking at it and I said, okay, it looks fairly similar to the MTM, um, although uh, at first glance it's very similar, but you can tell it's not the same. This obviously is a copy of this. This is certainly not an MTM foam cannon, but I want to see, perhaps it's as good. Just off the bat, besides the weight, I'm going to let you guys see these. The MTM bottle is just a little bit higher or a little bit longer but what I do like about this is that I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but it has gradients on the side that tells you how many ounces and milliliters that um, you know there's a scale that goes up the side of the bottle what I don't like about it is that it's not clear it's kind of opaque so it's going to be harder to actually see where the liquid is um, the other thing I do like about it is the bottle is very rigid, okay, whereas the MTM one is not as rigid. It's, and, I, and this may be more from age, but I would prefer the bottle be a little bit more rigid. Although, if you do happen to drop it on the concrete, it does have a higher probability of actually cracking the bottle. They operate pretty much the same way. They have the same control sets same fan controls but I don't know you know what let's go test it and let's see if the lemon best foam cannon is equal to better than or not as good than the MTM all right for you folks that say I never wash a dirty car I have got one for you here to do our lemon best test Yeah, this thing is super, super dirty. Perfect candidate. Okay, so the First test is going to be with the MTM foam cannon. I've got 10 ounces of warm water with two ounces of our zip wax, which is usually what I do to test the foam guns. It's a decent shampoo. Let's see what happens. I'm going to let this sit for approximately six minutes and I'll run this part in a time lapse so uh, you guys can see the difference.
Okay, so turn the cartoon instruments. I'm going to go ahead and rinse the car off, and we'll try doing this. Okay, so next I've got our Lemon Best foam gun. I've got 10 ounces of warm water with two ounces of our Zip car wash. Let's see how it foams. So I will let this sit here six minutes and we'll see what's left. Alright, it's been approximately six minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off the foam that we missed from the transportation core. Okay guys, here is my conclusion, if you can call it that, of using the lemon best foam cannon um, there's some slight subtle differences that I could tell when spraying it seems like the lemon best was not producing quite as thick a foam as the MTM um, that may be a little hard for you guys to have seen um, on the video the uh, MTM foam cannon if you didn't know is made in Italy and the Lemon Best is a Chinese version. I'm not going to say it's a knockoff. Well, let's just go ahead and say it. It's, it's a copy. All right. It's not the exact copy, but it's very close. And, you know, if you're short on cash, you don't want to get an MTM foam cannon, then I don't think that the Lemon Best would be a bad investment. The only thing that I don't like is that you cannot see how much liquid is in the bottle. Perhaps if you got a strong light behind the um, bottle itself, but if the bottle were a little clearer, you'd be able to see what was in the container as far as the um, amount of water. It's kind of useless to have the 
markings on the side when you cannot see what's in there. But that being said, uh, I think it did good. I, you know, it, it's it's not bad for the price. I'm going to go ahead and put a link down in the description box to where I got this on Amazon. So if you would like to purchase the Lemon Best and add to your detailing arsenal, I don't think it would be a bad investment. So guys, I hope this video uh, inspired you to get out and detail and clean your car. Um, go ahead and if you haven't subscribed, do so. I try to put out one to two videos a week. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the next video.